Are you getting into gaming and don't have a lot of money but want to be able to play GTA 5? I'm having a great sale on it at the moment. And I want to show you a cheap and easy way to get a computer that will play GTA 5 that is extremely easy, requires very little work on your part, very little knowledge on your part, and can cost as little as $120. So the first thing we want to look at is the specs for the computer that you would need to play this. This is old, but it's an i5-3470, 8 gigs of memory, and a really old 2 gig graphics card that we're going to get a little bit better than, hopefully. So we're going to build a computer very easily that would play this and meet these specs. First thing we're going to need is a complete computer. We want to make sure that it has 16 gigs of memory. And in this case, this is an i5-4590, so it's an even better CPU than what they recommend. 16 gigs of memory is going to give us a much better gaming experience than trying to game on 8 gigs. It will load faster, play better, and help our FPS overall. Believe it or not, this entire computer is only $50. Now, this does not have a hard drive, but to be honest, when you have a computer, you're going to want to have a solid state drive. And if you go to Amazon, a 500 gig solid state drive, a decent good brand one is $21.99. Wanna make sure that you stick to an SSD if you're buying a computer on eBay because sometimes they don't have the hard drive caddies with them. And if you have an SSD, it's no big deal it's not going to cause any problems. You can just connect it and let it flop if you have to. We're also potentially going to need a SATA to six or eight pin adapter, depending upon which GPU you want to use. So this could potentially be something that you need. Hopefully the computer you buy will have an extra SATA cable that you can connect to. If not, you may have to unplug your CD drive or finagle it and buy an extra SATA splitter, but hopefully that's not something you'll have to do. There are three GPUs you can choose and they are priced a little differently. The first one is a GTX 950. It would be $40 if you went on eBay. This is very cheap, but it's not gonna give you a very good gaming experience, but it would be enough to handle GTA 5. I would recommend going for a GTX 1050 Ti and you can see these are about $60 depending upon the variant you want. And this will begin to give you a decent gaming experience. You want the top of the mark that you can use with this computer without having to get a very crazy new power supply and possibly adapters for that. You could use a GTX 1650. These come in between $90 and $100 dependent upon the variety that you want and would be the best. I don't know that I would spend $90 on a 1650, but let's kind of look at the FPS you would get with this if you went with a 950. Average FPS on GTA 5 is 42.5 FPS. If you went with a 1050 Ti, it is 47.3. And if you're looking at the 1650, you're getting 56.8. So for 50 more dollars, you get quite a bit higher FPS. And ideally you wanna to stick to as close to 60 as you can. And if you would knock it down into the medium or low settings, you would get significantly higher FPS. And put them all together. And if you go with the 950, your total cost for the computer will be 117, the 1050 Ti it will be 137 and the 1650 would be 167. So you do not need a crazy high-end computer to play GTA 5. Again, if you're trying to pass my class, make sure that you subscribe. Thank you.